Interactive dashboards allow users to create flexible workspaces that are designed around the way they want to work. Let's look now at how gadgets that we can add into the dashboard can be set up so that they can interact with each other, creating a dynamic presentation of data. Here you can see that I have a simple dashboard that contains a list gadget, but I now want to be able to see more information about the opportunity or perhaps the company to which these opportunities belong. So I can create a new gadget and I need to use the gadget type record summary so I need to scroll down to find that in the list and now I can select the gadget. We have to select the type of gadget that we're interested or type, sorry the type of data that we're interested in my case this is the company and I can then click next and there's a selection of some of the screens defined for the company. The system administrator can design new screens that can be used for record summary gadgets uh, and in my case though I'm choosing the company entry screen and so I need to give this gadget a name and so I've put in a name there and the gadget is dropped into the default position but I can drag it into a new location uh, and I can now create the link between the two gadgets. The links uh, button is the first of the buttons at the top of the gadget and I have to define a new link and the record summary gadget is going to receive data from the list gadget so I need to define this connection and confirm the fields that will exchange the data and that's basically the primary key and foreign key relationship uh, and once I've done that I can click OK and then close the link definition. Now it doesn't look like anything has happened but if I now click on the first row of the list gadget uh, you can see that the company data is then immediately shown in the record summary gadget and now if I remove the filter from the list and then I can click on other rows and have the data uh, updated. 